Brace yourself for unprecedented epicness, because today I'm going to be reviewing the upcoming McFlorian Destiny action figures that are slated to be released come summer of 2017. As you can unequivocally see, McFlorian plans on churning out four Destiny action figures. It's great that they're dabbling into this line. We finally get our favorite Destiny characters realized in action figure form. They include Lore Saladin, they include the Iron Banner Hunter action figure, the Vault of Glass Titan action figure, and last but not least, the King's Fall Warlock action figure. I'm not well acclimated with the series, but I do know that these characters have merit. So, the issues appertaining to these figurines are numerous. Their joints are flimsy, these characters are lean, they're not brawny, they're not burly, and their joints may sever they may easily come apart, so that can be a major issue. Another issue is they seem to lack accessories. It's just quite a pity and a shame that you're paying over $20 for figurines that are devoid of accessories. But um, I would say that there are some redeeming qualities about these figurines. Their textures, their aesthetics, their sculpts, their hues, their designs, their cosmetics, their details are just incredible, so McFlorin deserves their accolades for going the extra mile on designing these figures. So they have incredible designs, they have incredible sculpts, their shadings are hues, their textures, their overall likeness to the Destiny characters is just incredible. However, they're lacking in terms of articulation, accessories, and features. So again, we have another character. This one is not worth over $20. I would actually say that um, this first character, the Iron Banner Hunter, is worth closer to $10. This um, Bald of Glass Titan figurine may be worse bit more. It may be worse. Closer to $12 in my opinion. He's a bit more bulky. He has some armor. So he seems to offer more plastic for your money, which is always enticing. But um, I just detest the fact that they only have 14 points of articulation. I would have preferred if they had interchangeable hands. Fisted hands are always nice, but they have weapon gripping hands, which are the second best type of hands they can have. It's nice that he has a belt, but it can't come off. His armor can't be removed, which is a missed opportunity because it could have allowed for some variation in terms of his appearance. So, that figure is a bit better than the other one. It's not as scrawny. But um, it's not the quintessential Destiny figure either. Next we have this Warlock figure. Um, the aesthetics are novel, they're unique. His wardrobe is majestic, it's divine. But um, in spite of his uncanny, exquisite appearance, he's just not worse over $19. So again, I would deem this figure to be worse, closer to a $10 price point. These figures are a bit scraggly, they're lean, they're not as brawny, nor as burly, nor as bulky, nor as hefty as I would prefer them to be. McFlorin has become infamous for um, creating action figures with um, articulation issues and with weak joints, so these figures may be apt to come apart easily. Again, we have another figurine. This figurine seems to be of higher quality. We have Lord Saladin. I would be content with spending closer to $20 for this figurine, but even though he stands 10 inches tall, even though he dwarfs most figurines, even though he has a cloth cape and a, hel and a helmetless head, and then with all that, he's still not worse, closer to $40. But I would buy him for closer to 20 so the asking prices of these figurines are nearly twice as much as I would be willing to pay for them. But um, if you're an avid devout Destiny fan, then you'll be appeased to know that um, 
your favorite characters are being realized in action figure form. Hopefully these prices will plunge. If not, then I may consider buying them for closer to their asking prices if I have them, if I have some spare cash to um, deplete. But I doubt I'll, I, I doubt that I'll have any disposable income, so I'll have to, unfortunately, abstain and desist and refrain from buying any of these figurines until their prices plummet and until I can afford them for their asking prices. So as a totality, I'd raise this lot to be a 4 out of 10. Yes, they are amazing in terms of their sculpts and details and shadings and textures and hues and aesthetics and designs, but um, they're lacking in terms of accessories, articulation, and in terms of... Um, integrity. So, I have a hunch that three of these figures can easily come apart. Lord Saladin may be a bit more sturdy, but again, it's, it's a salient issue that um, the structural integrity of these figures can easily become compromised. So, that's my review of the McFlorin Toys upcoming 2017 Destiny action figures. I hope that you found this video to be insightful and enthralling. Have a wonderful, marvelous day. Goodbye.